What's up, y'all? It's me, Daria, and we are here for week eight of the PPL. And this week, we are up against Nexus. Uh, Nexus is a fantastic content creator, a uh, very creative team builder, and an even better babbler. So I highly recommend check out his channel if you don't already follow it. His information will be in the description below. And uh, yeah, this week... Uh, we're coming off a win, which is really good, uh, and this week kind of feels like a must win. We're sitting fifth in the conference out of ten, only the top four make the playoffs, so we're on the, we're on the outside looking in. So if we lose this one, uh, we're not completely out, but it's going to be really difficult. Like, we'll have to win week nine, and people will also need to lose in order for us to make the playoffs. Um, and uh, they'll also need to lose this week. Um, if like everyone in front of me just wins and then I lose this week, I don't think I can make it. So kind of a must win. Um, so let's go ahead and jump right into the um, matchup and then I can go over what I have for this match. So Nexus has a terrifying Deoxys speed, which could be so many different things. Uh, it's a very difficult Pokemon to prep for. Uh, he has a Quaquavel, which is also really good into me. A Scizor, a Iron Jugulus, Sandy Shocks, Sylveon, a Terra, Iron Leaves, which is extremely good into me as well, uh, with Terra Electric and Terra Fighting. In fact, it is so good into me, I had to get kind of creative with my counterplay for it, uh, which I will get into uh, to, in just a moment. Like, the problem with this thing is, like, if you're looking at this and you think, like, Fizz Def Zapdos is the switch in, but. Zapdos can't do anything to a Terra Electric uh, Iron Leaves. It just can't touch it. So that cannot possibly be the check. And I will, again, go over what we plan for that uh, here in just a second. Terra Tauros almost certainly does not come just because of how good Terra Iron Leaves is into me. Um, we could potentially see Appleton because of our Ogre Pond, uh, but I don't think there's any chance we see Sneasel. Uh, so yeah. There's our matchup. Uh, we kind of have our work cut out for us this week. Again, Nexus. Um, Nexus is a really strong team builder. So, uh, like, we need to make sure we are on top of our shit here. Um, and I will go ahead and get into what we plan on bringing. Uh, the first thing is a little bit of a surprise, I think. Uh, we are going to be bringing Choice Scarf uh, Ogre Pond, our, our doll. It's not going to be Terra, uh, our Terra option this week, uh, which is why we're running Choice Scarf, because obviously we wouldn't need the Choice Scarf otherwise. Um, but uh, Ivy Cudgel, play rough knockoff U-turn, hits his team pretty hard. I expect his leads would be either like a Deoxys or a Sandy Shocks, and we can U-turn out on those, or threaten with big Ivy Cudgel damage, or even knock off some items. Like, we have options. Um, I saw a lot of screen hazard leads with the Dio and the Sandy Shock, so I anticipate probably seeing one of those. Um, and that's okay, because we can just U-turn right into King Gambit, who is going to be able to brick break any screens that they set up. Um, we have Choppleberry and Supreme Overlord this week, uh, which are pretty much staples on any King Gambit set. Uh, we also have Swords Dance, Iron Head, and Sucker Punch. Uh, Supreme Overlord boosted Sucker Punches can be really, really threatening and force mind games into the late game. So this Pokemon is good for breaking and also potentially uh, being like a sleeper, like a sleeper end game threat as well. Uh, Colossal is going to be a big part to our strategy here. So ultimately we are trying to set up for a late game Ivy Cudgel, like Choice Scarf Ivy Cudgel sweep. Um, in order to do that, we need to wear down the Scizor. In order to wear down the Scizor, we need to get up Spikes, uh, which is what we're doing with Smoke Show here. Uh, Colossal can also Terra Ghost, that is our plan. Um, and it has Tar Shot, Explosion, Flare Blitz, and a Citrus Berry, along with Steam Engine. Uh, Steam Engine will allow us to catch either Flip Turns or Aqua Steps from the Coquabble, uh, and then max out our speed. Uh, we're still not going to outspeed a plus one speed Coquabble, but if it Flip Turns out, we will outspeed most things that come in. Um, Flare Blitz is really good damage into this team, it's just a good click. Explosion will be good for helping us like get rid of the Iron Leaves trying to set up or even a quick wobble threatening to win with like Aqua Step Moxies. Um, and then we have Tar Shot, which actually, um, it's kind of unclear how much of a damage boost I'm getting. I, 
I think it might, I think it doubles the amount of fire damage, which means flare blitzes are going to be doing a ton. It also gets a speed drop, which is probably the more more important thing in case there's like an agility like iron leaves or iron jugulus. Like, well, yeah, tar shot will be good for like keeping those things from getting out of control. Um, and then we tar shot into flare blitz things. Uh, that means like things like Appleton can't be the counter for this. I just think tar shot is fun tech this week, and I'm just excited to show it off. And I hope it's able to uh, do a little something. We'll see. Um, but the important thing is the spikes. Uh, the next part to getting through the scissor is going to be this um, Zapdos. So basically, this is going to be the switch into any uh, Scizor. It can you like basically, Scizor can't really do much to us. It can knock off our item, which is pretty annoying. But we do have a Dunpan here, which is going to be good for hazard removal, and that'll be coming this week. Um, but yeah, basically, we don't need to bring Hurricane this week. Discharge uh, to get Paras off and just good electric damage. A uh, heat wave to catch the Zapdos and U-turn for momentum, or to catch the Scizor, I'm sorry, and then U-turn for momentum. Um, we really just want to like hazard cycle the Scizor and to slowly wear that down uh, and just get it to a point to where we can either kill it or win with Ogre Pond. And uh, as previously mentioned, uh, we have Dunfan here first. Uh, this is Joyce going to be a Earthquake, Ice Spinner, Ice Shard, Rapid Spin set with AV. This is going to be what switches into things like the um, uh, the Sandy Shocks, uh, potentially even like an Iron Jugulus. Um, it can tank a shot or tank a hit and get off a big Earthquake or Ice Spinner, and then click Ice Shard if it doesn't, you know, if it doesn't quite kill with the first move. Also, Rapid Spin for the Hazard Removal. And then finally, we have Drone, our Iron Bundle. Drone can kind of be in a flexible role this week if we can get rid of the uh, the Deoxys and burn the potential booster energy on the Iron Leaves. This can just win for us. Um, also, uh, we can use it as a as a breaker uh, to kind of help make sure Ogre Pond can do its late game stuff. So uh, it's going to be booster energy special attack with Hydro Pump, Ice Beam, Freeze Dry, which pretty much hits everything hard on this team, and then Encore to prevent like a wish passing um, or calm minding Sylveon from getting out of control. So yeah, that's the team. Um, we really need to win this one. Uh, hopefully uh, we have the stuff to pull it off and I will be back here for the battle. All right, y'all, we are here for the battle. Um, Nexus got sick uh, and I wanted to make sure he was at his, uh, you know, it is best for our battle. So uh, we pushed our battle back a little bit. Fortunately, that does mean that I am having to battle after a long, stressful day of work. So my brain is a little frazzled. I did try to get a little meditation in beforehand, so I did disconnect a little bit, but we're just gonna do our best. Um, so let's see, what do we have here? Uh, no quabble. There is no quabble here. That's phenomenal for our Colossal because uh, now our Colossal only needs to worry about one thing and one thing only, and that's the Iron Leaves. So that's really good. Um, I do think we still lead Ogre Pond. I think a U-turn lead is still the play. Uh, U-turn into either a Deoxys or Sandy Shocks lead with hazards and screens. Um, I think it's definitely in our best interest. All right, uh, good luck, have fun to Nexus. Hopefully, hopefully this is another good one for y'all. Okay, so there's the Deoxys lead, just like we Anticipated. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna click U-turn. I'm just gonna U-turn. Uh, he's either going to set screens, hazards, or click cycle boost, right? So I'm just gonna U-turn in a gambit. I guess he could like superpower, but we have a travel, so we'll be fine. 
That was great damage. That was great damage. <clears throat> All right, what do you got for counter? <laughs> uh, what? That's okay. So Chapel doesn't pop on counter. Uh, today I learned. Today I fucking learned. Oh my god, that's so that's so bad. That's that's so bad. We needed we needed health on this thing. Okay, well, <laughs> that is so so bad. We needed this thing to stay healthy because there's an iron fucking jugulus here, right? Like, ah, uh, yo, turn one counter is fucking fire. I am in shambles right now. <laughs> Oh my god, okay, alright, I see you, I see you. Stealth rocks, okay. So he gets his hazards up now, yeah, that makes sense. And we pick up a kill here. So like, the Oxys is gone, which is good for our booster energy special attack. Um, iron bundle in the back, right? We, we now know, unless it's like booster energy speed iron leaves, which it could be, um, bundle kind of just wins. So we just need to... Get that leaves to pop its booster energy uh, and then deal with that so okay that's that's a rough start I really wanted to keep this thing healthy okay so scissor it, this is a free u-turn for him right like I probably just go Zapdos here um, on the off chance he's not protective pads see if we can pick up a static and, and then we probably you turn on his sandy shocks Right? Yeah, that seems right. <clears throat> yep, you turn. Did the damage tell me anything? Tells me that it has no investment in attack. He's like max HP. Max. He's probably max HP, max his death for the uh, Overhaun, if I had to guess. And he's probably protective pads, so he doesn't get static on the Zapdos switch. Alright, so he does go shocks. I wasn't super paying attention. I probably should have been paying more attention. I don't. I don't know if the booster energy went off there. Um, either way, I think we just go into Dunk Fan. Um, we don't actually U turn here because this thing could outspeed us. We don't want a power gem to the face. Reflect. Okay. Okay, so this thing. This thing is screens then. That's really annoying because my Brick Breaker is the Gambit who just took a million fucking damage to a turn one counter. So, um, this is gonna be a tricky one. I am not sure. Okay, well for now we spin, right? We get rid of the rocks. That's easy enough, right? That's easy enough. We just spin and we get rid of the rocks. Light screen, yeah. So this thing's for sure light play. So, no booster energy. Okay. Now, Earthquake seems obvious here. Which means he probably goes into the jugulus. How do I punish that? It screens up. I think I, I think I might have to stay in and click Ice Spinner. I think that's the best I can hope for. Jugulus. That's gotta be the Jugulus. Yeah. Mm, I mean, yeah, there's a Reflect up. This thing might have a low investment, but that seems about right. Um, a little bulk. Just like a little bulk. Probably not much. Um, we're AV, right? He can't kill us here unless he's like Choice Specs, Crit Hurricane. 
that would probably kill us. Um, but otherwise, we're good here. Um, so we're gonna get some more damage off, and then probably into an ice shard after that, uh, just to get this thing in range of hopefully like a ogre upon U turn. That's a lot of damage, but it was a crit, so... Okay, does that tell me anything? Okay, this thing is not a boosting item. It's it's probably either scarf or boots, if I had to guess. Uh, probably scarf or boots. Um... I kind of want to ice shard again. So the thing about the crit, right, is if he is boots and not scarf, he can click dark pulse here, uh, where he would have had to click hurricane again and risk a risk a miss. Um, which means we could have probably picked it off with two ice shards. Uh, instead, we're just gonna get one ice shard off and just live with the results, I guess. I don't think that's U-turn range, and it's dark pulse, so he's not scarf. So he's probably boots. He's probably boots. Um, okay. I think this thing's out of U turn range, so I think I might have to go bundle. I could go Zapdos, but on the off chance it's things like Power Herb, Meteor Beam, that seems like a really bad play, so I think I need to go Iron Bundle here. We're gonna burn our booster because he's just gonna go so um, but I don't think we have a better play right now, unfortunately. And who knows? Maybe we get maybe we get a freeze. Maybe we catch a freeze here. Like I kinda wanna hydro pump, but I don't think that's worth it either. Like with the screen up, I don't I just don't think it's gonna be too much. So I think either way we're just teaming here and hoping for a freeze, I guess. Um I mean, once the Sylveon comes in, we can pretty safely go into some other things, so... It does not give it to us. Jared is the Sylveon, so uh, we're gonna see how much special investment this thing has. Okay. Th that's looking pretty specially invested. Um, it might not be max max, but it's close for a screen. Um, I kind of want to go coal here and get up my spike. The problem with that is I need as much HP on this as possible to handle the iron leaves. So I think what I have to do is go Zapdos and click Roost. Or I go Zapdos here because I can Roost off the damage, right? If he does click Hyper Voice here, I can just Roost off the damage. He just baton passes. Okay, so got baton pass. Cool. Got a lot of special bulk. What is this? Oh, he goes right into the leaves. I mean, why not? You know, trains are up. Booster attack. Okay, so he's not booster speed. He could be like Swords Dance Trailblaze, but I think he's more than likely Agility if he's Booster Attack. So I think I just U-turn here because he's going to Terra Electric, otherwise he doesn't go into this here. And we, we just U-turn into Colossal.
Alright, um... Yeah, Colossal. Like, there's no reason to go into anything else here. This is literally what Colossal is here for. And we probably get to show off the Tar Shot tech here if he clicks Agility. There it is. Agility. Okay, cool. Um, that's way less spooky than Sword Stance Trailblaze, to be real. Um, and his Reflect is gone. So the question is, is it better to Flare Blitz to, into Explosion here? Or is it better to Tar Shot into Flare Blitz? Now... I think we Tar Shot into Flare Blitz. Because the Tar Shot means that Ogre Pond can revenge, and since he countered on turn one into the Scarf Ogre Pond, he doesn't know that we're Scarfed. that up, no problem. There's our char shot. Could show off our tech. Uh, now, if it's a 100% boost damage, this flare blitz just kills. Um, so, I'm gonna fucking go for it. Okay. A crit would have been real bad there. A crit would have been really, really bad there. Um, but we're good, we're fine. Uh, we eat our citrus berry and get a kill with flare blitz? Question mark? No, okay, it's a 50% boost. I probably should have tested that more in, in Mox, and that's kind of on me. Um, but whatever. I don't regret it. Car shot's cool, so I have no regrets bringing that. I. I probably just explode now and then revenge with Ogre. Uh, the question is, right, does he lead this out against a full health Ogre Pond? Like, even if he doesn't suspect me being uh, Scarf, he still might switch out because I don't think this thing can kill me in one shot with anything uh, at full health, since it's Terra Electric and not Terra Fighting. Oh, uh, honestly, I wonder if I should have went into Ogre Pond there, because that would have for sure put me in range of another attack, right, if he's got close combat, and then he's probably more likely to click it. Oh, that might have been a misplay. And then I could have still got my spikes up later, maybe? Probably not, right? I don't think I'd live a hit from anything at this point. Maybe Scizor, if Scizor is no attack investment. Okay, yeah, he didn't want to risk it. He went into Scizor for sure. Okay. Probably not my best moment here. Uh, I think I probably could have played that section a little better. Very frustrating. Okay, well, we just go into Zapdos now. He still probably, he still doesn't know if we're Scarfing. Right? He still doesn't know for Scarf or not, so that's still a thing in our favor, I guess. Yeah, of course. He just do turns. Still no static, so he's like for sure, he's like for sure protecting pads, right? He... We're in a really rough spot. I, I gotta be really all like, that turn one counter has me shut. I, I have not recovered. I have not recovered from that turn one counter. Um, that was just, that was heat. I, I was not prepared for it. What was that? A little disappointed that Chopple doesn't work on counter. It's still a fighting type move, right? So it should still reduce that damage. But I guess the description specifically says super effective fighting type moves, and counter isn't super effective because it's based off like damage scaling, so like our damage input. So we're gonna U-turn into 
Okay, so we do have speed, so this thing is it's just bulky. It's here to just set up to be yeah, so we we're gonna we're gonna go into the iron bundle here, uh, on his reflects, because I am a crazy person. Uh, and there's no way he expects me to go bundle here. He always expects me to go ogre, so he goes to reflect instead of light screen first, and he's gonna be less vulnerable to uh, special attacks. So this is the plan. This is this is right here. This right here is where we 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 strike back. Because even even if he goes into even if he goes into um, Sylveon here, I think an ice beam and a two pump should, should do it. Or should I Hydro Pump? I can't land three straight Hydro Pumps. There's no fucking way. I have to Ice Beam here. Ice Beam, Ice Beam should still kill this. Like, we, we are modest. Like, Ice Beam should still kill this. He goes into Sylveon anyway, right? Yeah. Let's see what kind of damage without a light screen. Okay, all right. I think this might be dead to two hydro pumps. I think this might be dead to two hydro pumps. Assuming we land them, obviously. But we're gonna land them. That's we're we're just gonna land them. That's fine. There's the first. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's looking like a two-hit kill to me. That's looking a lot like a two-hit kill to me. Three hit, whatever. Hydro pump, you know what I mean. And like, I don't like. Who else would I even go into here, anyways? Right? Like, nothing else. I guess I could go ogre pond, eat a hyper voice, and then just a jolt. I probably have to U-turn on this scissor. God, I really wish I got my spikes up. A layer, a single layer of spikes would have made such a difference in this battle. All right, we just got a hydro pump. This should just kill, right? Oh fuck. Okay. That's that's it. That's ball game right there. Okay. I'm pretty sure that's game. Uh, that fucking sucks. Okay, well whatever. We just U turn out, kill this thing. Um. This thing, this thing's like surely in range of the U-turn now, so um, we'll just U-turn out and figure it out from there, I guess. I don't know, maybe going to Zapdos. <clears throat> fucking what? Reflect. Reflect is still up. Oh my god, I am not, nope, not doing well right now. This is not good for me. This is very bad, actually. Extremely bad for me. Yeah. Well, now I have to roost, right? Because I need this thing to stay healthy. Do I need to roost? Uh, I think I do. I think I need to stay healthy. Especially because Jugulus outspeeds me, right? So I need to be healthy because if I just kill this, he just goes Jugulus and just kills me. Kills the Gambit. Either way, his wish is off here. He probably goes into the Iron Leaves here. Unless he has Protect, then he protects. Either way, though, I think my play is the U-turn. Now this thing's gonna be like full health again after we had it down to one twice. Oh, this is this is not what I needed. This is this is the this is in fact the opposite of what I needed for this battle. Um, rough, really rough. Okay, well I guess we just discharge here, get some damage off. Yeah, there's the baton pass. Probably into shocks, maybe? Probably into shocks. 
set up a screen. Joe Gillis. Okay. Alright, Nexus. You think you're slick? I know a fucking power meteor beam Joe Gillis when I see one, alright? Like, it doesn't matter though. Like, what do I even go into? If it. If it's modest, it kills everything. Yeah, no. If it's modest, it kills my Ogre Bond with the power of Meteor Beam, so... I, it doesn't fucking matter, I just... Just die anyways. Yeah, there it is. Ow. Oh. He had this the whole time. Yeah, I'm dead. For sure dead. Uh... Okay, so... Here's the deal. I just threw, right? I needed to sack Gambit there. I always needed to. S I always needed to sack Gambit there. Um, that was my only way of keeping this battle alive. I am not playing well today. I am sorry, y'all. I a very underwhelming performance and a very very important battle that I needed to win. Honestly. I feel like I have kind of underperformed this whole season with the Terra Ogre Pond, if I'm being completely honest. Like, I should I should have a much better record than I do um, with that Pokemon. It's so good, and I'm just, I'm not doing it justice. I hope he goes Shocks. If he goes Shocks, I can still win. Alright, yeah, that's GG's. Um, he just picks this off and then um, finishes off my Ogre Pond. I, I, I don't, there are no combination of two attacks that can break through of Max Fizdef. Um, Max Fizdef Scizor here, unfortunately. Unless I get a crit with this and then like crit knock off with the um, Ogre Pond. I like need back to back crits here. That did nothing. Uh, and it, Andy's helmet. He wasn't even passed that whole time. Okay. Uh, good game to Nexus. Look, he... He brought the fucking heat. He, he had me shook on turn one, and I never fucking recovered. I never recovered. Um, I misplayed a couple times, which certainly didn't help. And he was on top of his shit this whole time. So, like, I, I just... I just need to breathe and relax. This is fine. It's Pokemon. It's it's a bummer though, cause I thought I drafted such a crazy team. I thought for sure I could make playoffs and make some noise in the playoffs. And now, in order to even have a chance to make playoffs, I not only need to beat Uzi, but I need people to lose. Like I, I need good players to lose battles in addition to me beating Uzi in week nine. So it just feels really bad. It just feels really, really bad. Uh, good game to Nexus. Uh, he fucking played amazing, and he brought some fantastic tech, and he just fucking stomped on me with it. Uh, that's 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 basically what it is. Um, hopefully, I can salvage this season. I mean, either way, right? We wanna we wanna end the end the season on a win, regardless. Even if we aren't making playoffs, beating. Uzi and finishing the season five and four would feel pretty nice. Um, yeah, so that's it. Uh, I will catch y'all next week. And uh, yeah, thanks for hanging out.